We start this hour with breaking news out of Mobile. It's the latest step in the police department's fight against spice. Late this afternoon, officers seized the D&D one-stop shop on Halls Mill Road. Yeah, Fox News reporter Michael Brandon was there as it happened. He joins us live from the scene with the details. Michael, what can you tell us? Yeah, Lenise and Renee, uh, the Mobile Police Department means business when it comes to cracking down on businesses that are selling spice. Take a look at this video. This happened just a little while ago here at the one stop shop. Um, this was the scene doors being locked there. Uh, you can see the uh, the drills going in there, the screws going into the wall. Captain Jack Dove with the Mobile Police Department says this is all part of what we've seen all too commonly hotspot policing. Take a listen. We're going to return these neighborhoods to a safe place, and we've got these drug people out of here. And that's, that's basically the aim, is to do something about these drug locations and to make people feel safe again. Now, like we've said, hotspot policing has definitely been something that we have seen a lot of when it comes to the Mobile Police Department and cracking down not only on businesses, but homes even. When folks are selling drugs out of their home, last week police arrested 61-year-old Carolyn James, and she was arrested for charges of marijuana, crack cocaine, and controlled substances, and she was arrested at 1256 Parcher Street off of Michigan Avenue and in Mobile, and since that time, the house has been boarded up even until today. It is still boarded up. Today we went out and we asked why that was the case and what residents feel like about this being taken care of, this latest hot spot in their neighborhood. Chief James Barber is calling this house on Partridge Street in Mobile a nuisance. We just do not want to see this this particular residence operated as a to facilitate drug transactions anymore. Um, and so we're looking for a different outcome. He says it's a nuisance because from February to May of this year, 12 different drug purchases have occurred. Nine people have been arrested and four are still wanted. On Thursday of last week, officers arrested one of those nine, Carolyn James, and seized drugs from the house. Shortly after, it was boarded up. It's a continuation of the hotspot policing, but we understand that um, in order for us to hang on to geographical areas that are that are hot spots within the city of Mobile, is we have to change the environment that is within that area. Today, I went to see what residents in the neighborhood thought about it being closed up. Some were relieved the problem is now gone. I'm just so glad it's gone, and it should have been something done about it a long time ago. I know it's been happening there for at least. Uh, um, uh, at least 15 years. Do you say you're glad it's gone? I am. I really, I really am. I'm glad it's gone. The traffic. Uh, it gave our neighborhood a bad name, reputation, especially this end of the, this in this area. Um, the whole neighborhood. We're just happy. We're all just happy that it's gone. It's been resolved. Officers have been patrolling the home regularly, checking to make sure there are no problems. According to police, over the weekend while patrolling. 65-year-old Jacob Davis was found inside the residence by officers after it was boarded up by the city. Now today we made some phone calls to find out what the Mobile Police Department's rights are when it comes to closing down homes, seizing homes, if you will, and businesses as well. And we're also trying to find out what business owners or homeowners have uh, in terms of rights when it comes to, uh, to what they can do as well. Tomorrow on Fox News, we're going to take a look at that and see what both sides have in terms of legal rights when it comes to uh, these types of close, uh, these businesses and these homes being closed down. We'll have that tomorrow on Fox 10 News. Reporting in Mobile, Michael Brandon, Fox 10 News.